Remember the WatchX development board from a previous video? This board is great for learning how to program and create great projects because it has its own battery, a display to show values, a real-time clock, the IMU unit, pressure and temperature sensors and other sensors and it is programmable in Arduino or Scratch. Today I want to show you the new format they've prepared for the WatchX, a new kit with a mode injected case and a better design. Then I will assemble a project they provide, to control a drone using the inertial unit that we have on the PCB, and explain you the code step by step. We will make a Bluetooth connection between the WatchX and the Raspberry Pi, and the Wi-Fi connection with the drone, and control it using movement from the watch board. So guys, let's get started. Video sponsored by PCBWay. You should try their services for flexible PCBs. You could get the rigid flex or the totally flexible PCBs of 1 up to 8 layers. You could apply different settings such as the PCB thickness from 0.08 up to above 0.4 mm. So go to PCBWay.com and try one of their services for PCB prototype, the flexible PCBs, components assembly or the SMD stencil and their new services for injection molding printing and CNC milling of 3D parts and laser cutting. Depending on your project, PCBWay adapts to your needs. So place your order now for prices starting from only $5. What's up my friends, welcome back. So here I have the new kit of the Watch X. I have to say that it looks a lot better than the previous box. It looks more professional made. And look, this project was awarded and that's another good sign. So remember that this board is like having an Arduino, but with an onboard display, a Bluetooth connection, a lot of sensors, buttons, battery and a charger, and a cool small wearable design. So you could create and test your projects directly on this board. On the first layer of the box, we have the Get Started manual and the WatchX board. This time they've made it even better with color pictures, explaining all the sensors, the connections, and the new case. And on the next level we can find the new mode injected case. We have the OLED display, the buttons for the case and the case itself. Together with this we have some silicon belts. I take out the case and as you can see we have a space for the watch and some insertion threads for the screws on each corner. So assemble the watch X as we have seen in a previous video. And then you can use the provided tweezers and take the plastic buttons one by one and place them inside of the case. And then we slide the watch X in place just like that. We place the other part of the case on top and we can add the screws. Once everything is tight, enjoy removing the protection film. And wow, it looks quite neat. And the final step is to add the silicone belt. And that's more than easy because it has these retractable connectors. So there you go, we have ourselves a nice watch and a super useful development board that we can program in Arduino or M-Blocks. Using M-Blocks is a better way of learning especially for kids. And using the prepared library for the watch X, you can begin blinking an LED, read a push button, then add some sounds with the buzzer, read some analog inputs, control the OLED display, and use the sensors that we have on the board for temperature, pressure, magnetic fields and accelerations. Ok, so now as you remember this board has the MPU6050 IMU, and with this we can read accelerations and gyro data, and calculate the angle. So I will show you an example on how to do that in M blocks, and print the angle on the OLED display, and also send the information with Bluetooth. What I want is to control this drone here, using the watch X. And I have to say this was a super fun project. This is the Tello drone and as you can see, if you buy this drone, it doesn't come with a controller. And that's because it's made in such a way so you could program it and learn at the same time. You could for example install an app 
and send commands such as take off, to land, rotate right, move left and so on. But in our case I want to send those commands using the Watch X. But you see, the Watch X has a Bluetooth connection and the Telodrone works with Wi-Fi. So that's why we first send the data from the Watch X to a Raspberry Pi using Bluetooth and the Pi will then send the data to the drone. So this project has three parts. First we make the M blocks or the Arduino code to read the IMU data and display the angle on the OLED display. The second step is to make a connection between the Raspberry Pi and the drone and try controlling it with commands such as take off or land. And the final step is to get the data from the watch X with Bluetooth and use that to control the drone from the Pi. So let's start. Connect the watch X to your PC and run the mblocks tree. If you don't have this software, you can find the link below to download it. You can also find the Arduino code, but it's a lot more visual to make this in mblocks. The first step in mblocks is to add the extension for watch X. So go to extensions and here we search for watch X and then install this extension by Mustafa, which is actually one of the creators of watch X. Ok, so once we have this, go below this video and download the watch X, minor all our code and open that in mblocks. We first create the main loop and in the setup we start the BLE communication. Then we make a forever loop and here we run 4 functions, each 100 milliseconds. Those four functions are defined here with other blocks. This one here is reading the push buttons. So what we want is to arm the drone when this button is pressed. Once the drone is armed, we start sending data. So in case that we have a digital read on B1, we first make a beep with a buzzer, then we turn on the left LED to show that the drone was armed and then we send command to the drone using Bluetooth. And this command will inform the drone that it should start listening for commands. So then what we want is to send the takeoff command when we press this button and the land command when I press the other button and also to turn on and off the right LED. We do that here with these other lines in the code. If we have a digital read on B2, we turn on the LED. We create another beep and send the takeoff using Bluetooth. If we have a digital read on B3, we send a command to land and turn off the LED. With this function here we read the IMU data and calculate the angle for X and Y. And then using Bluetooth we send that to the Raspberry Pi. To make sure the drone won't make some fast movements, we restrict the angle between 22 and minus 22 degrees. At the same time we use the display and the cross line functions to draw and show the angle data on the screen. As you can see depending on that angle, we draw two lines on the screen and also show the angle in degrees. We go to edit and select Arduino mode. Now you can also see the final code in Arduino format if you want. So in boards we select Arduino Leonardo. Then in connect select the cam of the watch X and click upload to the Arduino. And that's it, we now have the code that will send the data using the Bluetooth module. And as you can see, when I move the watch X, the angle and the lines on the display are changing according to the angle value. Ok, now let's see the part 2 of this project. Get the drone and the Raspberry Pi 3 or 4. If your Pi doesn't have Wi-Fi, you might want to use a USB antenna like this one. My model has an onboard Wi-Fi, so I'm good to go. I connect my Raspberry Pi to a screen using HDMI connection, so we can see the code and the rest. The Pi will have to run some Python codes, so the best and most visual way to do that is to install the Raspberryan on the Pi. So for that we go to raspberrypi.org and select software and here download the Raspberry Pi OS. Then you have to run the software on your PC and make sure that you insert the SD card that we will later use with the Pi. In software select the Raspberry Pi OS and then select the inserted SD card and click write. This process will flash the Raspberry Pi OS onto the SD card. So when finished, remove the SD card from the PC and insert it into the Pi. 
and after that we can power up the Pi, which in my case I will use a 5V power supply, because a normal USB adapter sometimes doesn't have enough power. You will also need a USB mouse and keyboard, so connect those as well to the Pi. As you can see when you first run it, you will need to set the time, the language and so on, so let's just do that very fast. Ok, so now we are ready to program. The first step is to run the terminal. Go to this link which you could find below in the description and download the needed library for the Bluetooth control. Once you've downloaded the files, we need to unzip that. And then we go to that folder in the terminal. And to open that folder, we type cd in the terminal and then the name of the folder. Once we are inside of that folder, we type this line and press enter and run the setup.py and that will install the needed library for the BLE control. Once the library is installed, we go below in the description and download the Pi files for this project. Then in the Bluetooth example folder, we have some examples. So let's run the UART service.py. Double click and open that in Tony. This code uses the BLE library to connect to the WatchX Bluetooth. If you run this code and power up the WatchX with the previous code, we should see the data that is coming from the board. So run it and as you can see on the shell, when I press the buttons, we receive the commands that we have defined previously in the Arduino code, for takeoff, for land, to arm the drone and so on. And once it's armed, we start receiving the roll and pitch data, so the Bluetooth connection between the Pi and the WatchX is working. We can now start the final step which is to control the drone with the Pi. Now look how this drone works. When I press this button on the side, the Wi-Fi will start. So now I can find this Wi-Fi on our smartphones for example, and connect to it. Once we are connected, you could download and install an app like this one, that will use the Wi-Fi connection and send commands. For example, if I send take off, the drone will start hovering. When I send land, the drone will land. Well, in our case we need to do the same, but using the Wi-Fi of the Raspberry Pi. So in the example codes you have downloaded before, now you go and open the drone control folder. Here we have to open the Tello3 code, in Tony as before. But before you run this code, make sure that you power on the Tello drone. Then go in the Wi-Fi list of the Raspberry Pi and connect to the Tello drone signal. Once we are connected, we can run the code and make sure that the drone is in a place where it could fly without obstacles. Now go in the shell and write command and press enter. If you receive an OK, that means that the drone is waiting for a command. Now I type take off and the drone will now start and hover in place. To land I type command and press enter, and then I type land and enter again. The drone will now land, so we can successfully control the drone. So the final step is to merge the Bluetooth code with this code, so each time we receive commands for takeoff, to land or the angle values from the watch X, we send those commands to the drone and control it. So now we go back to the downloaded files, and now we open the SRC folder and we run the controller code. This code will receive commands using Bluetooth and send those commands to the drone using Wi-Fi as before. Now make sure that the drone is on and that we are connected to its Wi-Fi. Run this code and also have the WatchX powered on with the code. Ok, so to arm the drone we press the left button. The drone is now armed. To take off we press the top right button and to land we press the bottom right button. And there you go, we are now controlling the drone with the WatchX board. You can change the angle of the watch and move the drone around. We can only move it in the roll and pitch directions, but if you want to improve the code, feel free to add the yaw control as well by changing the mbox code.
So guys, that's another cool example that you could make with this tiny development board. And the best of all, you can learn a lot with this project. And I will say it again, controlling the drone with this watch is quite fun, especially when you know how the code that is running on the watch was made. You can find all the codes and examples on GitHub, and the links are below. So get your watch X now and make this or any other cool project. Remember that this board has buttons, LEDs, the OLED display, many sensors for movement, temperature and pressure, you have an onboard real-time clock, the battery and a USB charger, so you could make many projects. I hope that you like this video and maybe you have learned something new. If so, give me a like and consider subscribing. Thanks again and see you later guys. What's up my friends, so this is the end of this video and I hope that you like it and the most important part as always is that you have learned something new. And as you know, part of the support for this channel comes from Patreon, so I would really like to thank you to all that you are supporting me on Patreon. And if you are not supporting me on Patreon, you have all the links below. And the best that you could do is to just like this video, comment or maybe share this video with your friends in order to beat this YouTube algorithm. So thank you very much once again and I see you in the next video.